woodcraft, helping you make wood work. Heads, the cutter heads, they come in a little baggie. The question was, how do the cutter heads come? They come in a little baggie. We have them over in the cabinet, and it will have the number on it that corresponds to the number of your tool. Nope, they, they come as one cutter head and the, uh, the, the screw that, that goes into your tool. Then you'd buy 10 bags. So by just getting a slight angle with this particular tool, I can come on in. Now one we haven't talked a lot about is the detailer, the diamond. Watch what this will do. Almost a parter, but it's not. As you can see, th these tools allow you to just create any angle that you want. I can even use this to get up inside. With some of these tools, I've been able to come in, create a lip, and go as far up inside as I could, which I've had a lot of people ask, how did you do that? Well, these tools. So, you can kind of get an idea of what you can do with these. I mean, these are fantastic for pens, bottle stopper, bowls, everything that you can imagine you can do with these tools. They just keep advancing. They keep coming up with more and more things. The one thing that Easy Wood Tools did not have in their line, which people were purchasing separate from other companies, was a parting tool. Well, I just happened to get the president of the company to send me one of their parting tools just yesterday. And I have not used it yet. What's that? I don't think so. So we're dealing with a one inch, one eighth inch parting tool here. Uh, the cool feature about the new tool is there is no screw. It comes with a flex key that allows you to pop it in and out and 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 of course it's the technology the more pressure you put on here the tighter the head becomes what's that same thing so you would you're asking me to aim it toward you all right oh that's pretty that is pretty. Let's do a couple of those. Right now there isn't. This is the... I've heard a rumor that they are experimenting with a new head to go on their tools that would allow you to beading. And you would just replace that head and put your other one back on or vice versa and you can come in and just just simply do beading work on whatnot in your bowls just with purchasing a new head are there any questions thus far where we're at any more So as you can see, we can have quite a bit of fun with this, this whole line. And easily comes right out. Do we have any questions? Pretty self-explanatory, pretty cool new line, of, uh, especially this one here. Highly recommend these, they're just, they're phenomenal. 
doing the inside of your bowls and quick and easy. Do we get our pamphlets now? Your pamphlets, the question is, do you get pamphlets? I have one. <laughs> There'll be a raffle held at the end of this demo. I don't use the square as much. Um, I have it. It's, it's, it's just... When I first got it and started playing with it, it was, you know, okay, this, this, I, I get this tool. Once I put the R2 on there, it was, it was like, it was like butter. It just, everything that you possibly, you can do w that you could with the R2. Um, the middle little finesse. I mean, the R2 goes in and it's just straight across. You know, excuse me, the, the square head is straight across. Well, you can do that too with the R2. But just the ease of being able to go through. Um, I learned to do acrylics. Uh, pens and stoppers and I was using the square head and it just didn't work as well as the R2. You put the R2 on there. Well I have noticed when I've used the, the traditional tools if I get uh, a wild hair and I've got an idea of something that I want to turn I'll go out to my shop and I'll notice that my tools are dull and then I've got to go and and since I don't have a sharpening system I will take them to my local uh, sharpening place which would happens to be Woodcraft and it's, you know, it can be spendy if you've got five or six tools that you're going to be used, you know, uh, on the project that you're working with. Um, I just like the, 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 the notion that whenever I pick up my tool, whenever I want to, it's sharp. It's always going to be sharp. And if it isn't, then I just turn it one quarter turn and now I've got a sharp tool. Uh, the only thing that you need to be careful with is um, if you're working with these tools, and they are starting to get dull, you will start pushing into your project a little bit more and a little bit more and then you'll realize, hey, I need to change the head out or turn it one quarter turn. And my advice to you is when you did that, take a moment to reflect. Don't just dive back into your project because you went from adding pressure for a dull carbide tip to extremely sharp and I have, I ha I have ruined many a project that I have had to creatively piece back together with inlays and glue um, because I did not keep in mind that I went from dull to absolutely sharp and it'll just eat up your project really quick. Go in very light and, and, and almost like retraining, reprogramming yourself. My, my tools get all glued up because I'm, I'm dealing with uh, CA glue, uh, five minute epoxy. I'm, I'm building blanks on my lathe as I go uh, sometimes. Uh, the best accomplishment that I have when I'm, when I'm turning a project is a blowout. I get excited because then I, I have all of this stuff that I've purchased over on the other side of my shop that now I get to bring into the mix and create and build as I go. I have some blanks that are leather and exotic woods and uh, uh, copper. Um, I'm, I'm playing with copper plating and, and building it as I'm going. Sometimes these blanks take me weeks to build and cure and whatnot. And um, so, inlays, working with inlays, another fine product. Uh, um, and, and some of the stones that you can purchase over, the, the powders and the stones and adding CA to fill in and then adding the, oh, it's fantastic stuff. Just it got me all excited now. Any other questions before I get too excited? I need somebody to try this. I need somebody. Come on. Somebody. Do you want to try that R2? I'll, I'll do the R2. Okay. Start out with the uh, um, this one first, and then uh, yeah, round one first. It goes straight and goes square. Do you really see? I I, I find that it, this one chops this down so much quicker. Get your preform done with this one and then come in here and that'll, with this R2, that'll smooth that out like glass if you go 